I am sorry. Weenus. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Just wanted to say something that would be more on the level you were thinking at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Super Rex. It's a Corbin. Have you touched your weenus? Every five to seven hours. You can't touch it with your tongue, can you? What about? Show us. <laughs> it's right here, kids. It's your weenus. Uh, today we dirty, got a Kenny Sebastian bird. little set right here. Hey, been a while. Uh, this is Why the Dosa is Amazing. All right. Stand-up comedy cool. uh, from 2017. Uh, been a long time since we've seen yeah, Kenny love Sebastian. Kenny Sebastian. So, so funny. Uh, very comedically humorous guy. Why, why did Siri think we were meant to... Shut up, Siri. We're not talking to you. Big brother. Always listening. <sighs> well, that... Of course. Here we go. Uh-huh. I could cook before, but now I can cook a lot more. Okay? And, uh, through this process of self-discovery, I found a very fundamental element of life which teaches us that the most amazing things in the world are simple and not complex. Obviously, I'm talking about the dosa. <laughs> How many of you guys like the dosa? Yeah! Hell yeah! There's nobody who doesn't like a dosa. If you find someone who doesn't like a dosa, please kill them. <laughs> they might be a future dictator. <laughs> dosa are amazing. It's a peace-loving food. It is beautiful. It is pristine. Like if you see a dosa counter, like a free dosa counter in a wedding, it's just like the lowest form of humanity there, okay? I'm sorry, the lowest form of humanity is a free chart counter. Because you don't even want chart but you can just in one seat, spur in the mouth, you know? But dosa counter, you just see everybody patiently waiting. Mm, that's my dosa. Mm. Oh, this is not my dosa. Oh, this is your dosa. Okay, you have your dosa. I'll have mine hot hot. I'll have mine hot. <laughs> it's just peace. It's peaceful. Have you ever seen a bunch of rowdies fighting with dosas in their hands? No. No. <laughs> no. A bunch of rowdies are fighting. Hey, maga. Hey, macho. Uh, Sunny throw dosas at them. They're like, hey, it's nice. It's crispy. It's nice. <laughs> These are red chutney. Hmm? I love red chutney. That white one I don't like so much. It's a peace. It's that's why it's. It's what brought about peace in South India. It's the South Indian weed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. How do you prove it? All you North Indian guys, you go on a trip somewhere in the north with your friends, your one South Indian friend in four days is going to crack and one day be like, I need to have some dosa right now. <laughs> in four days. <laughs> dosa. Scary withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, and those are so amazingly simple. It's so nice. And there's a food that gives too much credit, which is the biryani. Okay? How many of you guys like the biryani? It's nice. It's nice. It's not a crime to like biryani. But it's not that great also. Okay. Disagree. No, nobody has Did you hear the O's in the audience? a full recipe of biryani. <laughs> yeah, no one. You start at number one, which is like, okay, you take the rice and soak it in water. Hey, I can do this. It's <laughs> complicated. Step five. Face the pot with the sun. <laughs> hey, what is this? I'll have any please, one family back. Yeah. No one finishes that recipe. It's complicated. Nobody. I've never tried yeah. it. So many layers. Yes. I've heard. Dosa is so simple. It has two ingredients. Urdal and love. <laughs> yeah. You take your urdal pack and stare at it. With love. <laughs> it turns into dosa battle. <laughs> Only if you guys can't cook, give me a chair. Yeah? If I give you yeah, dosa, I mean, compared and to you most people, you steak on a stove, that's dosa, bro. <laughs> that's dosa. A little more complicated. The universe puts its atmospheric pressure and makes it flat. The design of the dosa is so pristine that I could put a dosa in an Apple commercial and you would know the difference. <laughs> Brand new plain dosa. <laughs> 16 G. <laughs> masala dosa? Maison masala dosa. Something for everybody. Mm. I want to need the dosa right now. I do oh, too. The dosa is the only thing. Like, the, the, dosa also ironically is made by the dirtiest people. Okay? No offense. No offense. But if you go outside, 
and you go to a restaurant, it's almost like a game they play. Like the, the owner of the restaurant is like, okay, who hasn't taken bath in two weeks? <laughs> no, no, you don't need to wear a shirt, it's fine. <laughs> this is guy, every through the shop, not wearing a shirt, just a mundur. He's like, <laughs> he, puts water, he takes the freaking broom and he wipes the stove. You're still like, I don't care, I want that dosa. That's my dosa. Give it to me, mama, I want it. <laughs> dosa is the only food. That you could put the word plain in front of it and it's still appetizing. <laughs> plain biryani? No thanks. Plain dosa? Yes, please. <laughs> always funny. Always, he's always funny. Man. And and, all, and that was all true. Also, it's not that easy because I made dosa on my. Chair. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, once you've maybe if you flat once you flattened it maybe out. Maybe if you just like it flat, but if you want to do that little roll, roll. part. That's complicated. Yeah, because that that's that's how I imagined is is the, and to keep it nice and not collapse or break. Yeah. But um, my like if I could do it every morning like a filled dosa for breakfast, forget it. Yeah. Now, that would be if someone were to say, What's your favorite thing to have for breakfast? I have a lot of favorite things that I like for breakfast and some I passionately dislike. A breakfast dosa is like mm -hmm. glory. Remember when we had it in North India? Yeah, and I had it in Kolkata and got we got burned both times it was for that. Delicious. I had my very first, yeah, start writing in the comments. My very first breakfast dosa and filter coffee was at a South Indian restaurant in Kolkata. That's where you gotta have it. Yeah, it was and uh, it was Hey, that's way better than having it in Los Angeles. Yeah. Come on, at least they did it in India. <laughs> but yeah, our first day, if you guys don't know this, you can go back and see our video for our, our trip when we did our OSR trip two years ago. Our first day in Delhi, Stupid Babies took us to this really nice restaurant and we made the heinous mistake of having South Indian food in Delhi. I think, I think there was also just South Indians that were mad at North Indians that were telling us to eat it wrong as well. Yeah, and I, I understand because you're passionate about your stuff. And we're coming to South India at some point. Nothing's planned. We're waiting. But yeah, when we go, you can show us the right way. And I'm sure we will be ridiculing everybody in the north just like you. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, biryani is extremely complicated. I've heard and we've seen. And it takes a lot. But long you've time. actually it, tried to make it. Oh, we made it. And yeah. it was delicious. And it, it's just, it's a lot of waiting and layering and waiting and layering. So you can't just like stick it in a packet and put it in the microwave for two minutes? No. No. <laughs> uh, maybe there's some instant biryani. Oh, no, no. Well, you know who I've heard, and you all are going to say don't do this, but I've actually heard that some of the stuff that Trader Joe's makes is not bad. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, you've heard that, right? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, always funny, man. Please let us know more Kenny Sebastian yeah, been a and while. more stand-up comedians that we can react please, to. Please, please. Uh, Kenny, also, you should be our dose already. Yeah. Come on the channel, man. Come talk to us. We'd love to talk to you. Let us know down below. Just